automotive industry. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you for joining us. Good evening, Nobu. Uh, Jeff, even though we've been experiencing slow economic progress over the past number of years, it seems as though the automotive um, industry has always bucked the trend, exceeding expectations in terms of sales volumes, etc., etc. What is the current state of the industry currently? No, you're quite right, Numpu. Over the years, it's been a barometer of the state of the economy, and it has defied many of the negative projections early on in the year. And this year, we're seeing also a fairly significant growth, about 6.5% a year to date. Um, that's where local sales are concerned. But I think on top of that, and uh, it's terribly important, is the uh, economic effect and the uh, implications of uh, any disruption to our uh, export program. And what do you fear are the implications of a strike at the moment? Well, you know, we're on a three-year cycle, the industry, so um, this was um, expected to some extent. I think there was some anticipation, some uh, proactivity where, where strike action is concerned. Um, but with all strikes, the longer they go on, the more damaging they're likely to be. Um, and the immediate effect would certainly be the loss of, um, of 3,000 cars a day from the seven manufacturers, which uh, translates into about 600 million rand. Uh, that's, that's per day. So, and and that will escalate the longer it takes. So we can only sincerely hope that these talks tonight are uh, productive and indeed fruitful. Presumably when production is halted, there's no way that uh, manufacturers can catch up in order to, to catch up with orders. You can recover if it's only for a few days, but the longer it goes on for, then it becomes more difficult. But I think more important than that, of course, is the, lack, the loss of confidence and the compromise that that would present to overseas investor confidence levels and South Africa is a reliable source of supply of motor vehicles, given that 14% of our exports are in fact automotive. So it's very important to the economy. It's often said in the manufacturing sector, oh, the labor um, concerns that they're, they're too heavy for manufacturers, uh, they're going to mechanize. Now, if uh, manufacturers did consider mechanizing, well, how would that impact their ability to access this government funding, the, the ADPD, or I forget exactly what it's called, but would it impact their ability to benefit from subsidies from the government? Well, the APDP, indeed, one of the intended outcomes is to grow employment. Um, but the trend to mechanise has been there for a long time. It's an international one and I dare say it will continue, not only because of the cost of labour and the uncertainty of labour here, but elsewhere in the world as well. And of course, you're quite right. Uh, if if labour becomes an ongoing issue, then I think it intensifies the need to look at alternative means of manufacture. Now, we're not only looking at the automobile uh, industry, there's trouble brewing in other industries, particularly the mining sector. What does this all do in terms of foreign investor appetite to invest in South Africa? It certainly acts as a deterrent. I think it's very concerning. Um, and we can only hope that uh, sanitary prevails where these talks are concerned and they're not too protracted because already the market has reacted. We've seen the RAND plummet against uh, pretty much all major currencies today. So th there has been a reaction and, and I think one can expect that. And I just repeat that we could just hope that uh, this can be settled sooner rather than later. It's ironic the RAND has depreciated so therefore manu car manufacturers should actually benefit but then if they're not producing anything... Mm -hmm. From an export perspective, but then from a local buyer perspective, there's an availability issue. But also, um, the weaker RAND does have inflationary implications, so there's a longer-term likelihood of vehicle prices going up. So my message is, if you're going to buy, buy today, or as soon as possible. Good advice. Thanks very much, Jeff. That was Jeff Osborne. He's an independent analyst in the automotive industry. The South African inflation outlook is worsening, and consumers will bear the brunt. The decline in the RAND is expected to affect more than...